Amidst constant bombings and shelling, the 1986 Chernobyl tragedy side fears worst horrors of past to repeat. This is Russia takes over the nuclear plant site, triggering residents, workers to evacuate once again. The Ukrainian residents fear another nuclear catastrophe is in the making. Take a look at this report. Valery and his wife Halina used to work as engineer chemists at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In 1986, they had to evacuate their home in Pripyat when a reactor exploded, triggering the world's worst nuclear accident. Now they fear they may once again lose their home near Chernekhiv as Russian troops shell towns and bridges in the area. God forbid if we had to be evacuated again. Losing their home is not their only concern. The couple fear Ukraine could see another nuclear catastrophe. Zaporizhia, Europe's largest nuclear power plant, has been in Russian hands since last week when a blaze broke out in a building at the site after clashes between Russian and Ukrainian forces. The United Nations nuclear watchdog said on Wednesday that it had lost touch with its remote systems that monitor nuclear material at the facility. The now defunct Chernobyl power plant is also in the hands of the Russians, who say they are conducting a special military operation in Ukraine. Valery says the nuclear units at both plants are well protected, but warns there could still be a huge catastrophe if a rocket hits. If it gets there, the shelter object could be destroyed. <coughs> And then the radiation would spread all over Europe. If any of the reactors at Energoda, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, is damaged, it will be Fukushima. It's our uh, bomb shelter. The couple spend their days hiding in their basement. Bridges and roads surrounding their town have been destroyed or occupied by the Russians, they say, so they are cut off from the rest of the country and the outside world. Khalina bakes bread, which Valerie delivers to their neighbours. She says it keeps her calm. For Valerie, the belief that Ukraine will be victorious keeps him going. Soon we will be visiting our friends in Chernihiv again. We will go to Kyiv and supplies will resume and everything will be fine.